the odd one again. Okay, so before I begin this one, I should probably bring up something. See, Netflix put up the first half of a particular season on Netflix a few days ago because they did, they've done that before, they put up the first half at one point, then half later. But the thing is, half of 20 gigs, the number of episodes will be 13, and at that point, we are 11 episodes in. So, you know, that means, that means they put up two episodes early, this one and the next one. Well, if you ask me they, to avoid that, you should just wait for the old episode down, because we're not taking a break from, I don't know, after 13, I mean, we're going into the, I don't know if we're taking a break after 14 or whatever, but there are, like, a few episodes after that, you know. And I'll tell you what I'm gonna do during if there is a break, I'll tell you what I'll we'll do during or the break later. But um you know, I don't know if we will be taking one come team one and two start in November, like this one did ever no break. Game three had a break to get started like a month after the pre King and ended. But um yeah. Now, do not worry, I didn't watch this quote unquote week. I didn't I just looked at for a King and to, to make sure it is and they will get mislabeled. And yeah, I knew, it looked new to me, so. And someone. Then. Someone leaked the, um. A part of the episode. Uh, a few clips from other episodes as well, but they're a clip, so it's short. Uh, you know. Um, but this one, it was a fairly big clip, which I'll get to, but I looked at that to got curiosity. It was sneak peek, I suppose. But with that, but. Oh well, and uh, no, I'm not gonna watch that point even. You know, I'm a good boy. So now I finally have watched the episode here in Guilt Trippin', written by Adam Beechin, which that is interesting because the last episode he wrote was way back in the Gang King of Three, so it's been a while since his last episode. And Ken, he is currently, um, I believe, on Transformer Robot in the Sky. He got got developer dude on that. I figured maybe he left, but no, he back here, which means either he did more episode before he went by, like a lot of people do, or what, I don't know. But, either way, so, in this episode, Blythe accident, she bumped into the big kick in the hallway, causing them to pull a fire alarm to, you know, keep them calm and steady. And because of that, people think the big kick pulled the fire alarm and they get offended, and Blythe is wrapped with guilt about the whole scenario, despite the fact that everyone's perfectly happy about the big people around for a little while. Meanwhile, Pepper accidentally breaks, Vin breaks Vinny's lucky rock, and then she learns that Vinny has to the punishment for going wrong him, and she gets wrapped with guilt over the fact that Vinny has to think about punishment for her. So, as you can tell, both these plots do deal with the whole guilty thing, and I'm okay. Um, first off, there's a song. With Guilty Tango, which is the part I look into, you know, like my song, I think it's a song, and, um, I like it, I really like it, <laughs> um, it's very unique, the part of Conco, it's like a tango, like, with Pepper and, um, in between Pepper and, um, Life, and they do work really well, I got got their song in a song, they wanted to pair Ashley Ball and Tap for King Jermaine again, and it works. Yeah, it's, I, I really like it actually. Like, it's about as much of uh, a fall from Unvetted. And it has, um, interesting, I pair them together, but we'll get to that. Um, you know, I might like it slightly more. The visuals are really unique. It's like, I'd have to look into it. I'm going to probably look into it maybe a few already before watching the episode. <laughs> but, that video there. Um, but on to the actual episode. Go. Both of the case for both of the deal with similar themes. I definitely don't worry about the ending to the plot because any kind of thorny sometimes is a cop out, especially in that B plot. And the B plot, for the most part, didn't have one to an extent. Not too. Well, it's not a huge spoiler for the couple it's not like a huge surprise. They do have something actually nice in the end. So there's a hint of a cop out with the ending joke and. Maybe it kind of cop out, but like after something like happened and Vinny and Bickley forgiven her. Boy, or Vinny forgiven her. <laughs> I mean, I'm so pissed. <laughs> if it's more from our show, maybe that would happen to not this one. Um. So that one ended fine. Mine would cop out, but it's like. It's debatable, I suppose. And that, and for the A plot, um. Yeah, I'm way more worried about the ending of that B plot, because I figured. 
A5 wouldn't be... If, but if it turns out, should not worry about the A5. That is where kind of a problem come in. Um, I don't... I can't really say about spoiling it, so I might have to actually spoil it, but it's not like a huge... It's not like who's scared of the last mark something big happened, you have to keep quiet. It's like nothing big, so... But, but you know, just so... But let me talk about the rest of the episode first. I do I like the rest of the episode. Um, if it gets in, you can toil over for guilt. And, you know, I've seen the kind of story where, you know, someone, you know. Again, it actually, you know, though it's a little awkward to have everyone chase around because not being there, it does kind of make them more interesting to it's like people like the, the Red Jerk, so why should. Well, because of the fact they didn't do something. If they didn't do it, then they don't think of it in this instance. Even if they're jerks in general, if they get punished when they do, it's an injustice, you know? And, uh, and that they do get out for trying to fight to cracking themselves over this, and, you know, eventually owning up to a mistake. It's just spoiling that habit. <laughs> you know, it's interesting. And I've been talking, keeping track of the Vicky appearance in appearance number four, and is Vicky an antagonistic role? Yeah, we'll get to that. Um, Fisher mentioned, uh, in a bigger way, he doesn't appear, but it's somewhat neutral because they mentioned the fact that he could possibly sue them again. He sued before, apparently, so he's the kind of guy who would sue. It's cool. And apparently, but, the duck continued trend of him wanting to pick a tune for either own up to mistakes or want to be nice. But, but he would want to punish them for what they completely did. Um, you know, so, up in the air, with the guy who eventually gets this shirt but then had the evil laid in, so it's like, it's debatable. Um, you know, so, but anyway, most of the episode worked pretty well. Then, again, of course, you have to have the ending, and basically, go so basically if you do not want to on that front, you can go away, but it's like, I can't get what I feel about mentioning this, because it got any contact, so, Go. Oh well, you might have to get to get the card. Um, card then. Okay, it's not ending. I guess. Um, so basically, in the end, Bly owns up to mistake. Tell Flipper Cabal, blah 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 blah. And then Blythe, you know, to kind of go bring it to the big kick over at their mansion. Or they're actually going to be in jail for the big kick thing. Um, and basically, when they do get there, she, she talks to the, the big kids, and basically, turns out for not being horrifically punished, they had turned out, well, they had eight punishments, but it was like two of them had to go to a military spa, where that is to think about what they'd done, and because they didn't do anything, they didn't think, I mean, well, <laughs> Um, and then Blythe, um, Bicky would, I don't know how to articulate it, like, turn down soon, Blythe tells them, turn down there, and Corinne would be like, you know, you know, you know, happy, they're happy that they didn't do it, but they're also like, how do I articulate the dad don't act foolish to Blythe over a whole deal? It's like, kind of a fact that, you know, fish, by were kind of like, right, and then the fact that, you know, whatever, and she, you know, blah, 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 and they all very active, which would cause him to get, you know, pissed, and, uh, basically, the ringing she was over at Romance of the Young List, and that, like, we can put much more on ourselves to do all the biscuit, like, homework they had not done, because they've gone for more than just a day, um, and he had to do it with them, you know, and then at, then at the end, where after they become at Polish Blythe, they get all, you know, bitch back towards them, and, you know, go, oh, I'm gonna be here to do the homework thing, ha ha and then, because like, no, and that's the end of that part. That's what ends with the ending of this part. Um, yeah. Never one of them, I don't know how to feel kind of situation. Well, 
my name reasoning for being mixed on this, that yeah, the whole episode with Bly feeling guilty, they have the song, a whole song about it, she rents the entire episode about it, so I don't know, I like to think about what I'm going to do, and in the end it turns out, ah, she probably shouldn't have been guilty because they're bringing that, they're bringing that home about the situation and she punishes them in the end. I, huh? Yeah, um, it can, I know we're showing it the biggest moral thing ever, but when you have a story like this, it's probably best not to go that route, because, one, it's more of a, you know, you know, at least it's kind of a story where they contrive a character acting a bit more jerkish just to have a punishment happen, which, I've talked about that kind of thing before. I think in particular I've got like some other, that one I've got, I've talked about before, they do kind of go to something in the end, but it's like, the whole point is like, so, um, does that mean, I, I couldn't even articulate what exactly the killer bomber is kind of forgetting, <laughs> but, when, but, I'm not sure how to feel, because, yeah, and I do like most of the episodes of her being guilty, but it's like, in the end, it's probably the asshole back in that situation, and, you know, like, and then trying to, like, hint of them and being like, like, or whatever. So, basically, by shouldn't you know, because the book is just gonna be, like, and it's not even, like, oh, at least she did right thing, or whatever. But, no, it's, like, they put a big spin onto her, had life. And in that situation, I get why she did it. But, like, between next and what kind of bad of life, really cannot, does not take their shit. Like, I respect that, at least. Aw, <laughs> <laughs> uh, she never said that. She did not take their shit. Um... But, yeah, kind of a mixed bag, kind of that book, because, you know, they portray guilt pretty well. There's some good jokes, um, you know, great song, um, and the good plot, yeah, I have a good ending, and the well, ending joke is a little bit cop out, but I do think they spelled it well enough for me to be okay with it, for the most part. But, you know, but with the A-plot ending kind of unraveling a lot of the moral stuff, it makes them kind of awkward, so... This might be another one of the debatable rating, which got to one of the theme. First time that kind of thing happened with two codes. Before just one of the clocus might be with Kiki Chipat almost getting that, along with Future Thought, that I kind of got in the end. But two one one two just have one episode that rolled really good. Now the theme and two oh boy. But they're debatable rather than because it's like I you know. But, uh, you know, at least the song's good. <laughs> you know, but. And most of it works, so. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. And we check out Finn Ice now. Better off being last effort. And I already right know who wrote this one, because I'm going to lead to that. And I actually knew I'd be to because that's the clip I cut to to figure out if it was. And that. Not the clip of the actual new one. Or just, mm, I'm just lying. I'm just lying. I'm just so there you go, there's the episode, um, that to go, more and more over, we'll see if I change my mind, if I like it more, if I like it less. Like, next week we have Pet Napped, which, the first couple are kind of really funny, but they probably couldn't care less about, but we'll see how it happens with that one. Now, I reckon earlier that I did have plans for stuff to do during any break that I happened, well I could not it then, but it could be time to not it as well. Basically, because, you know, if a gap were no episodes, I'm going to be doing these vlogs, but they'll be on older episodes. And by older, I mean Team 1, 2, 3, for the show. It'll be LPS Classic vlogs. Going to totally not really that metal. Um, if you're wondering, I might do one from My Little Pony, but my option will be restricted because you know, I've gone into detail already on this show. I will allow any episode speaking, and even one guy did put on that short list in the post thing, because I didn't go into a whole lot of detail, and there's more I can say. In the context of this thing, um, just reviewing it. Um, yeah, how that time of thing? I can re record it. If I have a time, I can re record it. Um, I have no problem with that. Um, but. So, yeah, that is what we're doing, but I do want to do a bit more of a, again, the clock of one, but kind of, you know, on top of that, I do want to, hey, well, if we don't have a break, and I do want to do them, so, before the break, I will be doing them, 
on Monday, the Monday after Venmo Thinkin type of code, until we get a break and what and Cake Witch should be it'll be in play of a normal one. I don't know if I'll do a catcher showing end it because it's so over it's like what's the point? But for now people are gonna see him coming. So there we go, every Monday we are gonna clack it up a code. And it'll be randomly picked because of a random number generator that I have here and we have to put list on Wikipedia, which means go get an air date order. Uh but that's a little bit not a whole lot different, but a little bit different. Go, we'll pick out, well, I'll pick them out on each pocket we on because we're thinking one. So, yeah, it'll be the same as this, just on an older episode. I'll go more in depth, probably, because I've had, for well, I've seen it for more than one, so I'll know a lot more of what I'm talking about. Go, let's click on a random number and see what we get and see what I put off to watch and review on Monday. See, 46, yeah, 30, yeah, let's turn this. Damn it. I have a 40 kick playing it on Rio. Oh boy, that's more of a vacation y one, so that should be okay. okay. And that's for spoiler, I don't know if I'll count the scale about them, but so I'll see you on Monday, and I'll see you also next week for that type of code. And Monday for going to Rio, and hopefully the fall will be a point anyway, but people to Rio. Anyway, bye.